Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD preview video. I know it's been a while since I've made a new video. Thank you for all those people who checked in on me in my comment sections. I have been very busy, so I do apologize for not posting any new content. It's just been a busy time of the start of the new year. However, I did want to start previewing Mix 23. I know it's a little early, I recognize that, and I'm very well aware that Mix 22 has not been spotted in the United States yet but I'm very certain that within the next few weeks, we will see it hit stores in the United States as we just saw Mix 20 finally make its way in. So now officially, at least in some areas of the United States and across the world, we have seen every single mix of 2021 found. So now 2022 can begin. I am trying to keep on schedule with videos I have planned, which include mixes past 22, of course, that being 23 and 24. 23 will be reviewed this month in full. I'm not sure if I wanna do that next week or the week after I might do two preview videos of Mix 23 before I release the official video, just to spread out the content since I am a little light on content for the month of February. But for now, today we are obviously talking about an Avenger truck, as you can tell by the three trucks on my studio table today, and of course the thumbnail and title of the video. And this is a very exciting one because a majority, if not a unanimous amount of the community have wanted this truck produced ever since 2019. And trust me, Spin Master was well aware of it. They know, and they finally have produced it for you guys today. And that truck, of course, is going to be Avenger Fire. But first, before we actually bring that truck into frame, I want to talk a little bit about past Avengers. And of course, an elephant in the room, which is actually not even here, the green 57 Bel Air body that has still not been produced, which is the standard running Avenger body. But taking it back into 2019, the first year of Spin Master, we did receive two Avenger bodies with brand new castings. We will ignore the first one, which was on the standard pickup truck because I feel like that one doesn't really matter as much as the actual accurate castings. The first one being of the Avenger fleet for new castings, the Nomad Avenger from World Finals, and this was a very cool truck indeed. I do hope we see it return in Spin Master so they can update the hood and make it accurate with the slot machine, but for now, this has been quite a cool truck to have, and so far it's been a one-time release. Still one of my favorite Avenger bodies from the World Finals fleet that Jim Kohler has run. I just wish the toy did have the actual slot machine, but for now, this works perfectly fine. I just still love this truck, and I don't ever really take it off the collection shelf much anymore but seeing it in the light again has been very nice so the nomad avenger we have also had from 2019 mix 8 the s10 body avenger this is a brand new casting just for this truck and of course this year it will also be used for rage under team scream so this is the avenger s10 style tooling and this has been a really cool truck to see as well i do hope we will see the world finals 18 edition with the emerald green body at some point but for now this is the only s10 avenger besides the color changer from 2020 and then the first Bel Air body did debut in 2020 with the World Finals 20 paint scheme, the red, white, and blue American flag theme for Avenger, the split scheme here. So you can see the American flag stripes on this side and the stars on this side. I loved how they did the chassis. It looks perfect, as well as the bright BKTs with the blue B-Locks and black rims. So this is definitely the coolest debut casting of a Bel Air Avenger in modern history because it did have the accurate casting besides the big chunk out of the back, which I've already talked about a bunch, so I won't even mention it today besides this point in the video. So those have been our past notable Avengers and we will be receiving the split paint job World Final 6 Avenger for the first time ever in diecast history later this year from the World Finals line as well. But of course, we also have another Avenger this year from the Bel Air series, and that is one of the most popular schemes of Avenger in modern time, and that is from the All-Star Challenge, the Avenger Fire Paint Scheme. And this is a really cool truck. I'm not a huge fan of Avenger Fire. I personally love a lot of the other paint schemes much more that Jim has done. But uh, Avenger Fire definitely has made huge strides in the community as far as fans loving this truck. He has run this body at many other events now and it continues to return alongside World Finals 20's American flag scheme. So this is definitely a truck that 
deserves to be made in diecast because we see it so often. And of course, All-Star Challenge, it was a notable figure there with the high jump and other things. So this is Avenger Fire, the diecast edition from Mix 23 for 2022. And I gotta say, I still love the chassis, how they did it again with the very accurate silver roll cage and the dark gray base. And then of course the Avenger Fire scheme itself on the truck. Now there are a couple things that they didn't do correct about this truck. I'm not gonna pick on it too much for it, but uh, the window printing should have been there. They did push the skull down because I guess they just couldn't do the window printing, but uh, the skull here has been shifted down just to avoid it having to be printed on the window. It doesn't bother me that much, but I think Avenger fans will be a little more critical. Uh, they do have the Monster Jam Cohen and Lucas Oil logos there. They have the roof with the flames going down the entire top part of that uh, section of the truck. They have the Avenger Fire logo and some flames on the tailgate portion of the truck. They also have the flaming skull and the flames on the headlights onto the hood there. That looks really cool. And the bright yellow headlights. I did get a few comments asking why they painted the full headlight socket in instead of just the headlight itself. I think it actually looks like the headlights are on and glowing. Uh, that might have been what they were going for with the effect. At nighttime, this truck does have super bright headlights and that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm just gonna say that's probably why they did that. And then the other big thing, this is kind of a more notable one. The front grille on the real truck is actually wrapped with fire and the Avenger fire logo, kind of like this actually. So that might've been where this came from, but they decided to go with just silver for the grill, unlike the real truck's wrapped front grill. I personally think it would have looked better with the wrapped front grill with the Avenger logo, but it is what it is. I think it's still cool that we got the Avenger fire die cast after people have been asking for it for two years now. So I'm not too upset about the little tiny things that have been changed about this truck. I just think it's cool to have one nonetheless on this cool casting. And of course it has BKT tires printed on with red rims. The red rims, those are a little iffy again. I think the orange beadlocks with black rims that they have used on previous Team Scream style trucks would have served it better. But of course, now this leaves customizers with a choice to change the truck up as they choose. So there it is for Mix 23, Team Scream's very own Avenger Fire making its first diecast appearance from Fire and Ice and beyond now in the Spin Master Moss Jam toy line. So in the comments below, let me know what you guys thought about Avenger Fire. I will be previewing another truck next week. And in the week following that, I will probably release the full Mix 23 review video a little early, so don't panic, it is early. I'm saying this three times over. It is early to release the video. So I am early as usual. So thank you guys for watching again. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Mo CD signing out.